Hi guys and welcome. In the previous lecture, we tried to apply the fillet command, but we failed to. And now I will tell you why we failed to. First of all, let's go to the fillet command. This is the fillet command. Okay? Before selecting any object, as they tell you, you have to specify the radius of the curve that you want to create. For example, you have to press R, then press Enter. And now, as you can see, the default radius is set to zero. And that's why when we applied it in the previous lecture, we did not get any result. Now, let's uh, set the radius for 10, for example. Press Enter. And now select the first object, this one, and then select the second object. See? They can give you a preview of the final result when you just move the mouse on the second line. Click on it, and as you can see, now you have a fillet in here. Let's do it again together. Go to the fillet command. Press R, then enter. Now let's change the radius for 20, for example, press enter, and now select the first object, then the second object. See? Let's do it again. Fillet, R, enter, then specify the radius, enter, select the first one, then the second one. Now you have this curvy shape. And that's it for the for the fillet command. We have something else. It looks like the fillet, but it's not gonna create a curve in here or an arc. They're gonna create a straight line. And this command is called the chamfer. As you go in here and press on the arrow in here, you can see this command below the fillet. Let's click on it. How are we going to create a chamfer? First of all, you had to set a two distances. Okay? Let's assume, for example, that you have this shape in here. Okay? And then you want to create a line between this line and this line. Let's assume that this is the origin point for you. And you're gonna walk a distance from this line, and then you're gonna walk a distance on this line, and then create a line between these points that you have reached. So, let's do it now. Pick the chamfer, then select the first line, and then select the other line but no we did not put the distances that you want so go again and let me show you the problem what is the problem you have to press D as we did for the champ for the fillet one we pressed R but we here have to press D then enter specify the first chamfer distance for example you're gonna pick this point, this line, and this line. How much are you gonna walk in this line? For example, let's assume that we wanna walk 30. Press 30 or type 30. Enter. Then they are telling you to specify the second chamfer distance. Then let's assume that we want it to be like 10. So type 10. Then enter. Now you have to select the first line. We assume that this will be the first line, right? So click this one. Now they are telling you select the second line. And we assume that this will be the second line. See? They are giving you a preview when you just move the, ra move the mouse on this line. See? It looks like you have click on it. And it looks like you have 
walked a distance from the corner to this point as we specified 30 and then we walked 10 to this point and then created a line between these two points okay as simple as that very easy now we have other command <coughs> that is called I told you about the trim command but we have other command that is called the extend okay for example let's assume that we have this shape but it is unfortunately unclosed unclosed so what to do in this case you can you can use the extend command click on it then they are telling you to select what to select the object this one and this one now let's press enter now they are telling you do you want to do as you can see here fence crossing project edge or undo let's do the edge thing and then e enter then do the extend as you can see they have created a line that extends from the end point of this line to this line let's do it again let's assume that we have this shape in here and I want to create a line or extend this line to this line okay let's go to the extend command press on it now they are telling you to select object or select this one and this one okay right click then they are telling you to what fence cross project edge or undo what are we gonna do we're gonna press the edge why because it's gonna extend this line to the edge of this line see this is what the edge will do but what if we wanna let's click on it If you want to do another thing, which is the trimming the, the extra part in here, we have to do what? Look what the command says. Select object to extend or shift select to trim. So, shift and hold on shift. I'm sorry, I mean, press and hold on shift. And then go to this line in here. As you can see, there is an X over it. And that means you will trim it. Click on it, and it's all trimmed. Now, once you're done, press enter, and it's all set. Very good. And now, that's all the commands that we're going to do. The fillet, the chamfer, the extend option, and this will be for this lecture.